Now is your chance to vote for the Leicester's Jump Ride of the Year. Vote A for Nico de Boinville's persistent effort aboard William Henry in the National Spirit Hurdle at Fontwell. The pair jumped off in front, but slowly drifted back through the field as the race progressed. The 10-year-old looked a most unlikely winner when under the pump on the final circuit and still had 10 lengths to find with two left to jump. But as the front two began to tire, William Henry hit top gear on the testing run-in to eventually get up and land the prize. Keldes stand down towards the final flood of hurdles, runs down it to the right, still has the lead. In second is Thomas Darby, William Henry making late gains in third, but still with six to seven lengths to find. Thomas Darby's coming back at Keldes stand, and William Henry's coming back at both of them. William Henry seemed to spit the dummy heading out on the final circuit, has picked up, got past Keldes stand, and Thomas Darby on the run to the line. William Henry, Nico de Boinville, persistence rewarded. Vote B for Tom Scudamore's ride aboard Capage at Leicester. Capage had won a bumper on his rules debut at Chepstow, but was making his hurdling debut and looked like he had never seen an obstacle in his life. He barely got over the first and tried even harder to end his race at the second, but Scudamore had other ideas, clinging on and ultimately somehow getting him home in front. Here's the final flight. Kapaj out to his left again, had a little think, but he's over. Bendy Bow trying to get on terms. It's Kapaj down the near side. Bendy Bow's on the far side for Jamie Moore, trying to be rousted to get by this leader. But Kapaj has the lead still, just being pushed out, hands and heels. And despite a very unconvincing round, Kapaj will prevail by a length. Vote C for Harry Skelton's effort aboard Politologue in the Queen Mother Champion Chase at the Cheltenham Festival. Doors open and close in racing, but the most important thing is taking the opportunities when they come. Owner John Hale said he wanted to give Harry Skelton a try on Politologue, and the pair gelled from the moment the tapes rose in the champion chase. Rarely could the old boy have ever travelled and jumped with such zest as he did en route to a clear-cut success. Dynamite Dollars and Bondor in second and third, Defi de Sil behind those in fourth. A jumping exhibition from Politolog. He's been in front most of the way. Defi de Sil and Error at the final fence. Into the closing stages, Politolog and Harry Skelton in front. Tiring a little bit in the closing stages, but he's run a ragged this afternoon. He's jumped superbly. A fifth festival run, a first festival victory. The champion chasers, Politolog. Vote D for young Jack Tudor's winning ride aboard Potter's Corner in the Welsh National at Chepstow. There hadn't been a Welsh trained winner of the Welsh Grand National for over 50 years. But that was all to change in 2019 when Jack Tudor produced a strong ride to take the race aboard Potter's Corner. The 10-year-old had been considered somewhat of an unreliable jumper, but Tudor soon got the gelding into a good rhythm. He was sent to the front fully three fences from home and kept up the gallop under a strong ride from his jockey. It's Potter's Corner who's out in front. He leads down by a length and a half to Tracker's Lodge in second. They're over the final fence and Potter's Corner has got the lead in the Coral Welsh Grand National. He's cleared out by three lengths to in second Tracker's Lodge. Yalla Aki and Prime Venture, but it's the Christian Williams train, Potter's Corner, who wins the Coral Welsh National for Wales! To cast your vote, visit www.attheraces.com forward slash voting forward slash Leicester's vote. Voting closes on Monday, November the 30th.